This, of course, is one of my favorite of all time everyday carry knives, the Senta Fonte 3 at 2.2 ounces. It's outstanding. I have made a video of this one already, so I'm not going to talk a lot about the specifics. But just to review, it's very lightweight, it's very fast, solid lockup, wonderfully shaped blade, great jimping, awesome clip. I mean, there's really nothing bad I can say about the Senta Fonte 3. I highly recommend you buy several of these before they go away forever, especially at their incredibly low price, which Spyderco offers them at. Great job, Spyderco. Now, we're not going to talk about the Senta Fonte in this video. What we're going to talk about is its limitations and all the limitations which single bladed folding knives, whether they be of the tactical or everyday carry variety, have. And that is all they have is a blade. Just that blade. And there's a lot you can do with that blade, however there's a lot you can't do with it. And it does have limitations. And you know where I'm headed with this, don't you? If I need pliers, if I need tools like screwdrivers, scissors, and other functional tools like this, this probably isn't the best choice. I still will probably have a knife like this on me at all times, especially since it's so light. But I'm also going to have on me, you got it, a multi-tool. And yes, I am a closet multi-tool fanatic as well. I love them. Why? Because they're so useful. And we live in a really cool day and age when there are so many outstanding multi-tools to choose from. Like my favorite, how you doing, the Leatherman Juice S2. I love the Leatherman Juice S2 model. Leatherman is on the cutting edge of all multi-tool development. I know it's a very competitive field. There's offerings from SOG. Uh, heck, I forget all the manufacturers, but there's a lot. Leatherman, in my opinion, is the best of the bunch, and I have looked at them all. I own a few of them as well, but Leatherman is my favorite. Now, let's clarify what we're talking about. There are several models of juice, at least as of 2008, mid-2008, when I'm making this video. One is the XE6, which this is not. The XE6 is wider, has more tools on it. It's heavier at 6.5 ounces. There's a C2 that has a corkscrew on it. And what's that other one? The CS4. Sorry, I don't memorize all these. The CS4 is the other one. However, of all the offerings that Leatherman has, at least in their lightweight tool variety, and I will talk about their Charge TI, which I'm a huge fan of, but as far as an everyday carry multi-tool, this is my favorite. And I think it's the best of the Juice line and I'm going to tell you exactly why right now. First off, the weight. You know I'm big on weight. I'll never relent on that. There's reasons for it. I'm very big on having a lightweight knife or multi-tool in this case. What are we talking with the S2 Juice? 4.4 ounces. Not super light, but considering what you get, it is a very reasonable carry weight. The S2 Juice is also very compact. It's not very thick. The form factor is very compact. It's going to fit wherever you want it to. On my flight suit, it rides in its own pouch, which I'll show you here in a second. In civilian life, it rides in my fanny pack. I know, fanny packs are for dorks, but they're very useful sometimes. Anyways, this is an awesome, very compact, adequately lightweight multi-tool. And it inherits Leatherman's extremely high grade of manufacture. I mean, Leatherman just gets multi-tool right, multi-tools right, and they should, I guess, because they are the father of multi-tools. Leatherman himself first designed it, and he's continued to improve his designs. And he does such a good job. He or his engineers, whoever's putting these together, what a great job this is. Now, let me just first get this out of the way, because some of y'all watching this will be saying, "Yeah, the S2 is nice." But I really like that Skeletool, man. That Skeletool is the bomb. Actually, it's not. And the S2 beats even the Skeletool. One, it's more compact. Two, it's lighter. And three, it has more tools. Okay, so so uh, the Skeletool is a very nice multi-tool by Leatherman. I think it's outstanding. However, the S2 is more versatile, specifically with this one addition. Scissors. 
Scissors, in my opinion, are very useful to have on your person at all times. I use them all the time. And these are good scissors. They're actually fairly large scissors for multi-tools. If you look at some of other Leatherman's offerings, the SOG offerings, and maybe even the Swiss Army Knife offerings, their, their scissors are smaller than this one. These are one of the largest pair of multi-tool scissors I've seen, and they work great. Now I see the new juices have serrated scissors. I have never used those. Mine are plain edge. I would tend to favor the plain edge scissor. It's more useful. However, they're going to a serrated design for better or worse. I don't know much about that. But scissors are huge. And this is the main reason, in my opinion, that this tool beats even its larger and cooler bigger brother, the Leatherman Skeletool. Any of that includes a CX skeletal, the one that has a carbon fiber or whatever in it. So, great scissors, nice durable spring there, awesome. Can opener right here, it works, I use it frequently. There's the blade, kind of an oblong leaf design blade, and I don't know what steel it is. All I know is that it works and it keeps a pretty darn good edge to it, and I keep mine pretty sharp. You could actually forego an EDC knife and just carry a Leatherman Juice S2 and you would be set. And I think this beats even a Swiss Army knife. I really do. Why, you say? By the way, this blade is great. Nice length to it. Adequate to cut food and other things that you might have. I really like the blade. No, it doesn't lock open. If that's an issue to you, then you need to upgrade to the Charge TI, which I'll make a review on as well. But for the lightweight, the compact form factor, very adequate. But the reason this beats Swiss Army is because you get nearly full-size pliers with it. And along with those wicked pliers, you get wire cutting capability. There's a normal wire cutter. That's these jaws right here, the sharpened beveled portion. Then you get hard wire cutter, which is that rounded hole at the base of your pliers and let me tell you that works I have cut some baling wire with this set many times and it works great nice serration for turning bolts serrated pointed tip just like any quality sharpness plier would have and we Leatherman knows how to do pliers and they're very nice to have so with s2 juice you don't have to give up pliers for scissors you get them both at 4.4 ounces outstanding what else we got in here a variety of flat bladed screwdrivers and that one's very useful that's a almost jeweler sized screwdriver I really like that one I've used it a lot bigger flat bladed screwdriver I've used that a lot on the other side we only have one Phillips driver and it's of a kind of a small size oh and by the way none of these really lock open but that is okay by me this isn't a super hard use tool but that size Phillips has actually served me quite well. Then if I wanted to pull it out, we have a lanyard attachment area right there. Let me show you before I run out of time, and also a great sheath that Leatherman makes for the S2, and it's this one. Yeah, it's made out of leather, but remember, this is a everyday carry tool. This isn't something I'm going the wilderness with. Well, I might, but I don't care if it's made of leather in this particular instance. Now, the sheath is actually designed to carry the tool this way, Look at that cool little hole. The nice strong clip that you can put on your belt so you have your plier or multi-tool ready to rock and roll. Or of course, you can fold it and put it in there as well. And I love this sheath by Leatherman. It attaches firmly, really good looking, lightweight. It's 5.4 ounces with the sheath. Here's the S2 in gray. Good looking multi-tool if you ask me. Love it. Same features. Now, when I carry it on my flight suit, what I'm going to use is this rip-off carry sheath. They're made in San Dimas, California, and it's awesome. And it will completely enclose the S2 and make sure it never gets lost. So on LBE gear, military gear, this is how I carry it. As usual, I'm running out of time. I'll end by saying this is definitely my favorite lightweight, compact, multi-tool, the one I use all the time the Leatherman Juice S2. Doesn't have any hokey things you won't need on it, like I don't need a corkscrew, but it has just about everything else, and it's super high quality and affordable. Buy five of them today.